In today's video, we build a super efficient mob farm and build a redstone powered shop. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Welcome to Consentus SMP, an amazing SMP server with 13 other YouTubers. Playing together, building together, and crafting together, all in one world. But if you're new here, my name is Zeno and I make a weekly Minecraft video every Sunday and my goal is to guide, inspire, and entertain through my videos. So if that sounds good, consider subscribing. And in today's video, I have a lot planned of what I want to do today. So I want to build a super efficient mob farm build a brand new shop that is redstone orientated, and finally discuss my new base plans. So let's get right on into it. Off camera guys, I did a few things. Firstly, I AFK'd at our brand new squid farm and built this storage area. And finally gathered up a ton of quartz. But that's all I did, so let's jump into the main video. So a little bit of grinding later, we have got to this point. So inside our little storage hut, I've got these two shulker boxes that are filled with stuff we need for today's farm. So first of all, we have a ton of slabs, and I mean a ton of slabs. And we also have some quite a few redstone repeaters and this is definitely not needed it's just this farm produces tons of tons of bones uh rotten flesh gunpowder all of that stuff really quickly so we need a lot of storage for it everything else is pretty cheap obviously you don't have to have quartz slabs you can have cobble slabs or whatever you want but um because our base is pretty much going to be built out of quartz we're building it out of quartz today's farm is built by nembomb mc and we'll leave the link to his channel and the video i am following in the description below so make sure you check that out if you want to build this farm as well now to start this build off what what you want to do is find a extremely flat area which of course i have found because my base is in the ocean and just to start off the build what you want to do is make a chest here where you're going to keep all your stuff of course and then make a five by five square with hoppers going in all so if something was dropped on these they would end up in these two chests and now all we're going to do is in the middle of the hopper square we are going to build up to y level 193 where we will build a five by five square now from this point basically once you've added in your five by five cube over the hopper square down there you want to go to the center of each edge and go one two three four five six seven blocks out make this shape and then keep and then go into this sort of pattern that really didn't make any sense did it and you should end up with something looking along these lines and what we're going to want to do now of course is to fill these in but you want to go seven from this block go out three and then you just go diagonal it's pretty simple and now i've added a few more diagonal squares around the place and now this is the bit that is probably going to be the most tedious we have to deal with water mechanics basically what we have to do is place water on uh, any blocks of these slabs and we have to place them like this and yeah this is why it's going to be tedious because these are going to waterlog and i'm probably going to be here for a while all right so that actually didn't take too long we have all the water sources in place and this site just really confuses me i have no idea how water works like this now guys as the way of getting the mobs off the platforms and into the drop shoot we have pillared up a to y level 226 like this and what we're going to do with uh dispensers facing upwards is we're going to break these two blocks in between place an observer facing into it and then we're going to do that on every thing so if we just keep going up this is what we're going to be doing all the way up to there now that you have that all the way up we are going to be finding the bottom dispenser and actually all the dispensers and giving it seven blocks away from it so that we can make the platforms for the mobs to spawn on so this is one two three four five six seven i'm going to repeat this on all sides fill it in and then go upwards and this is going to call for a very nice time lapse talk so let's get right on into the time lapse 
Alright guys, so welcome to Time Lapse Talk. As you can see, I'm using the replay mod to record this time lapse, but today I want to talk about a few things. So firstly, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you. By the time of recording this, I have pre-recorded three episodes and we are sitting at 97 subscribers, which is totally unreal. And then hopefully by the time this video comes out, we can overcome our first major milestone of 100 subscribers so that's super cool and for everyone watching this right now thank you so much and if you're watching this and are part of the 60 percent of people who haven't subscribed make sure you do so for some epic content but now on to today's main subject so my base i've been thinking about this a lot recently and i've come to the conclusion that you go big or you go home so as you can see on screen now here are the base plans basically what we will will have is our main base which we are going to start next episode so we get ready for that surrounded by black glass creating a fog effect that we're going to have some lore behind and then of course we'll have our ufos around the area with our bigger farms and all of those sorts of stuff and then to top it all off we're going to have custom mountains there too so this will be an absolutely massive project probably one we won't finish for a while but hey we are currently on lockdown and i have some spare time like everyone else and uh, get ready to do have a massive massive project do you know once we have done the main base i'll probably do quite a bit off camera i think a video of just me making custom mountains won't be that interesting maybe the first few but for the rest i will do off camera but that's today's time lapse talk let's get back into the main video and if we fly away as you can see the farm is now complete I had to take one more trip to the nether as I didn't quite have all the resources needed for the farm. But I hope you did enjoy that time lapse and now you understand quite where I'm going towards with my base and there's definitely going to be more videos on it and actually we're doing the next video on that subject next episode actually now before the farm is complete what we have to do is make tons of water buckets because what we have to do is put them into the dispensers on the layers because at the top we're gonna have a redstone clock and when that goes off we want to put the water to come out so we're gonna start by just putting water in there and then I'm gonna go to every single layer doing the same thing all right guys so now all we have to do is do the last layer hopefully you can get up here yes there we can and we just have to kill this skeleton like that we have to get rid of all the torches if i didn't mention that you have to get rid of all the torches of course because you want mobs to spawn you want to place the water bucket in there and if we fly away you can see how many mobs are spawning and yeah it's pretty ridiculous and now what we want to do is make a redstone clock that basically makes all the dispensers dispense the water and flush all the mobs into the killing area so the way we are going to do that is by getting our 24 comparators placing them on max delay all the way like this uh and you want to make sure they are max delay because otherwise the farm will go a bit quicker than the mobs can spawn and we do not want that and you want to do this on both sides so as you can see this redstone line is going that way and then this redstone line is coming this way and this end this is where we're going to start the machine but over here we are going to want to put two redstone dust here so obviously these two things can connect and i'm going to want to get one more piece of redstone like this place a lever here a comparator going into this i believe like this uh flicking it on and then it's as you can see the redstone clock goes round and this when it gets to the dropper the observer underneath this will sense this and make all the dispensers under it flush the mobs away uh guys i have encountered a problem basically we are currently at y level 256 now for this farm to be most prominent you're meant to be at uh y level uh i think 290 or no not 290 190 um yeah basically i built uh this this farm um a bit too high um i was i was a bit suspicious when i saw this because i've built this farm before on another world um yeah so i'm just gonna have to not get the most efficient rates i guess but yeah that is quite annoying okay so i have built it a bit lower we're now going to light this and then what i want to do is add in a system where if pigmen come through here they, they're just gonna they're just gonna die unfortunately that is what has to be done so we're gonna place a trapdoor like this a temporary block here we're gonna place a turtle like here whoa that's phantoms okay uh that's very annoying 
But basically, pigmen hate turtle eggs for some reason. I don't know why, to be frankly honest. But now, if we just go like this, hopefully we don't get killed by tons of phantoms, like, like I'm being now. And then, if we go around here like this, and place some more trapdoors. Oh, that was not a trapdoor. If we place some trapdoors like this, break this, break this, and this, and open them, pigments will walk through, get angry by that thing, and drop down there and die. And after we built all of this, I realized I built it wrong. So I tore it down and rebuilt it using the correct measurements and now as you can see it is working fantastically the mob bomb actually works this time and i also built this item sorter down at here and if we take a look in every single chest you can see that this is working super super well the only problem i have is that sign there to um stop that water from going in there stops the drops from going into these chests as you can see i've only got a few of them in here um and i don't know how to fix that so let me know in the comments down below if you guys know how to fix that problem but it's now time to head over to the shopping district so i can explain this money making shop that i have in store and if you're wondering i will make the mob farm look super sky fi ish off camera all right guys so we've officially built pop-up incorporated let me explain what it is now i know i didn't get any footage of me building it i'm very sorry for that this took way longer than expected and the time lapse was about three minutes long so i didn't want to put that in the video but basically what i went for was kind of a churchy town hall look um i think i achieved that ignore the diorite it it really hurts me when I see that. But um, if we walk inside, as you can see, pop. I wanted to put pop up. It just didn't look as good, so I just put pop. Um, as you can see, the shop not open yet, and it's a redstone-powered machine. It uses the same concept as Sahara Now from Hermitcraft Season 6. Now, I'm going to try and explain to you how this works. So, I've loaded up nine empty shulker boxes just here and what we're going to do is as specified here these are kind of what happens so if you want to cycle to a new deal you press this button the dispenser will dispense a new shulker box this will have something inside so you didn't want that you press this again it takes it into the hopper again and the dispenser places a new one see this is more of your fancy and you want this deal you can press accept deal you can get the shulker box and then you can pay in this box and then you will turn your shulker box in here now all i have to do is fill up all of these shulker boxes as well as five more with deals that i want to make so the idea is that i will go to other people's shops for example uh, gano gaming's log shop as you guys know i have a tree farm that i built in episode six which by the way you should check out if you haven't seen that but he sells his stuff at one stack for two diamonds I could sell a cheaper version with a shulker box worth, for example. Okay guys, so I have eight deals that I think are good enough to go into the first round of deals at Pop-Up Incorporated. So number one, we have this deal. This is Sea Lanterns and Dark Prismarine. These are just probably the most used um, Guardian Farm like resources, like blocks. So I added this in. I'm probably going to make it about 15 diamonds. Most of these will be 15 diamonds, to be fair. Uh, this is just a full thing of rockets. Always nice to have a big batch of rockets spare. Then we also have wood, I believe. Yeah, we have oak and spruce, probably the most used. I could add in jungle or birch for the next rounds. Then we have gravel, uh, I mean sand, uh, this is probably like a really used thing. If people want to use concrete, they can come here and buy all of this sand, as well as this gravel. And then we also have this trading one, so we have three unbreaking, some t silk touch, uh, um, emeralds and some mending books. Uh, and then we, we're getting attacked by a zombie, and we also have some honey. Um, oh, and I just ruined it. Oh, no. And then we have some honeycomb blocks. I have nothing to do with these honeycomb blocks. They look pretty cool, so I'm just going to keep them and sell them. Now, I'm going to name all of the deals, the prices that they're going to be, load them into the shop, and then add some info about how to use the system and all that. And, yeah, should be pretty good. 
Well guys, this is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, I upload a different Minecraft video every Friday and Sunday, so be sure to check the next video out by subscribing and hitting the bell. And also comment down below if you want to see more, and possibly if you have any video ideas for me to do. And leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and want to support the channel. Bye, we'll catch you on the flip side guys. See ya.